Peace family, it's Jay Morrison chiming in, um, just dropping some jewels for all my uh, aspiring, current real estate entrepreneurs, real estate investors, and real estate developers out there, or those who wanna just get some knowledge based on some understanding of what does it take to be a real estate investor or developer, and really what's the difference between the two, right? And so um, what we teach here at the Jay Morrison Academy and what we wanna begin to prepare everyone for is the understanding of the next level of doing business. It's all about scale, it's all about levels. And so when you come into the business, as most people think just doing real estate is just being a real estate agent and they think they're doing real estate. I mean, that's what I find most often with younger and newer uh, real estate aficionados out there, those who wanna, who are attracted to the business. They think they gotta start off with a license and then they become a realtor. And then some wake up and say, you know what, I could be a homeowner or be an investor and get a two family or a single family or a flip. And you might flip a property, you know, one or two a year, and you're kind of interested in a business. And then you got those who really, really want to take it serious, and they want to do it at the highest level, and they want to uh, automate, systemize, uh, they want to scale their real estate investment business. And then you have those who have put a ceiling on themselves who've said, man, I one day want to own apartment buildings, I one day want to own commercial real estate, I one day want to own skyscrapers, malls, strip malls, hospitals, hotels, movie theaters, farmland, uh, industrial warehouses, etc. But that ain't for me. That's too expensive. It's too much. I'm just, you know, I don't have what it takes to be a real estate developer. And so that's a question I wonder that if I can ask you guys, you guys can comment below. Um, and I'm going to ask everyone to share this video as well. Please share. But um, I want you to comment below. Uh, what do you think it takes to be a real estate developer? Right? So I want everyone to comment below. What do you think it takes to be a real estate developer? And if you want to add in a kind of a second comment or piggyback that, you know, um, what is the difference between a real estate developer and an investor? So let's see what our opinions are, right, in regards to real estate development as I prepare to kind of give you the real deal and wake you up, right? So many of us either aspired to be real estate investors or developers, um, thought about it, poked at it, but then again, put a wall up in regards to what we can do. And so comment below. What do you think you need to, uh, what, what is a real estate developer? And what do you think you need to do to real estate develop? And what's the difference? And let me break down the game for you. So it's very simple. A real estate investor and real estate developer basically have the same interest. If you look it up by definition, a real estate investor is uh, one who has a economic interest in real property or real estate, whether it be through uh, leasing, uh, buying it, renovating it, holding it. It's one who's a, who invests capital, has an economic interest, and hopes or seeks to make a profit, right? So one that has an economic interest in real estate and seeks to make a profit through, again, rentals, leasing, equity, appreciation, flipping, whatever it might be, right? That's an investor. A real estate developer is essentially, when you look at, look at it by de definition, a real estate developer is the organizer or coordinate of real estate activity that has a financial interest and seeks to make a profit of leasing, of renting, of equity, of appreciation, etc. A real estate developer is simply a real estate investor who has done and has focused on the function of coordinating and organizing, facilitating real estate investments and real estate activity. Whereas a developer, excuse me, whereas an investor is simply streamlined, the person that wants to economically invest and benefit from real estate, gimme, right? Whereas a developer, the only, it is, is, is not the property size. It's not whether it's a strip mall or single family home. It does not make you a developer or investor. It's not the amount of real estate. All real estate over 500,000 is a developer. No, it is simply the function of someone being hopefully a master or a proficient or efficient organizer, coordinator, and facilitator of real estate investment activity. So as a developer, you just must have a deeper understanding of all components. As an investor, you can simply have cash or a letter from the bank or some credit, not know what the hell you're doing, put some money into some real estate, and maybe likely get lucky or hopefully get lucky on flipping or turning some property over or putting a tenant in and you might, you know, you might flop, you might not, whatever, but you just strictly have uh, deployed capital or interest in real estate and invested. As a developer, 
you are coordinating the entire transaction. You have a deeper understanding. In order to, to coordinate, facilitate, and organize a real estate activity, you must know all the moving parts. That's the big thing. It's the level of understanding of a developer versus an investor. Most investors are just newbies or novice or those who just jumped into the industry off of a YouTube video and never gained a real understanding of the business. And what I call UPF, understanding, they understand the level of patience, the P you have to have in this business, patience for the deal to go through, patience in dealing with the people you have to coordinate, patience in understanding the financing, and then having the focus to be able to make sure that all details of this transaction, that we have double dotted all I's and triple cross all T's, that you have an understanding of the financing, understanding of the construction and development, an understanding of the closing process, an understanding of the acquisitions process, an understanding of the, the SPE, special purpose entity process, an understanding of the syndication process, an understanding of the leverage process, an understanding of the exit strategy, an understanding of the team members that you need to hire, fire, onboard, et cetera to make this investment go off without a hitch. The difference between a real estate investor and developer is simply the level of understanding the developer has versus the level of understanding the investor has. That's the difference, the you. That's the difference between those who can develop at a high level and those who just have a limited understanding, therefore have a limited opportunity to scale their business, to organize, facilitate their business, and do it at a high level. And so if you are someone who wants that understanding on how to be the best real estate developer, how to be a perfect real estate developer, how to be a patient and focused real estate developer with a vast understanding. I want to give you that understanding at our next training. You can watch it online. You can come fly into Atlanta and come, let's do it in person. It's four to six hours, intense training. I don't care if you come in sweatsuits or a suit. You need to be focused, you need to be ready, you need to be serious about your real estate development business. To register, there will be a replay for the live stream. You click the link below to register in order for you to register for this four to six hour intense, intensive mastermind and training on all the components of what you need, all the understanding you need in order to be a proficient, efficient real estate developer and scale from being an investor, break those ceilings, break those walls, break those chains, and do business at the highest level. I'll see you there.